This is my um, Super Tiger 34 uh, ringed engine I bought from Tower Hobbies a couple years ago. I was going to use it, ended up doing some tests. Um, I didn't like the fuel consumption. It seemed to run fine in a profile, but I had a lot of issues in a full fuse where it would uh, run differently upright through upright and inverted maneuvers. So I just did some more work on it. <clears throat> Let me describe what was done previously was uh, I blocked, when I first got it, I blocked the boost in the, in the crankcase with JB Weld. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Al Kelly, machined away some of the weight, the extra weight, because the head is huge on these things. And you can see, uh, uh, you can see where the machining marks are up here on the head where a lot of that material was removed. Um, <clears throat> at that point, I ran the engine, discovered that it Ran pr pretty well on a profile, but really consumed a lot of fuel. Yeah, it didn't run right uh, in an inverted configuration in a nobler. Uh, it, it, it ran differently through upright and inverted maneuvers. So I put it away uh, for the time that I had a chance to make a Venturi that was smaller, uh, which I just did recently. I got a lathe about a year ago. So I machined a true Venturi, which you can see here, and you can let's see if I can zoom in on it. It has a tiny spigot inside. The defective cross-section of this Venturi falls into the range of, that Klaus Micus recommends starting with an engine of this size. When I first pur purchased the engine in order to get something lighter I ordered a muffler from Scott Dinger. Scott does a marvelous job, produces a beautiful piece of work and it's very lightweight. Um, the tests are going to be performed just today with a couple props. The other thing I did recently in addition to the changing the Venturi is I also restricted rather the uh, diameter of the inside of the crankshaft. I read an article by some uh, fellow in the UK who did some work on a Super Tiger 51 to make it run better. I used a ratio of his numbers, the restriction that he put in the Super Tiger 51. I used a ratio of displacement to the cross section of that uh, of his shaft restriction to come up with with the one that I put in. I machined an aluminum tube to slip in and uh, epoxy that in place. And I will include uh, some photos in this video of that modification. So um, I'll go back to the tests, and those will be. Those will follow in the video. Okay, it's got plenty now. Let's see what happens.
about 97, 9,800 and a solid four cycle. I'm going to try with a Bali Clubman. I got a 10.5 Bali Clubman. I used to run on my Fox 35. Just give that a shot. I've choked it once. We'll give it another shot. See what I get. is to substitute this uh, engine into my uh, Tucker Special for the uh, uh, Magnum 36s that I've been running. I have two Magnum 36s that run identically. Uh, I want to test this engine. I put a sm I machined a small spacer to put behind the collet on here to make the uh, the distance uh, make the length of the engine to the thrust washer uh, identical to the Magnums, so it should drop right into the Tucker Special without any problems.